We have a bouquet of 14 channels here in the U.S. We have on average 10 channels in 230 countries, and we're on a single mission. Quality content that when we're at our best, inspires and entertains and educates. In some ways, the media business chose me. I remember the excitement I felt the first time I met John Hendricks and he talked about discovery and his vision for it. It had just launched. He, he had so much passion, so much excitement, and it was contagious. The shows that David has done at Discovery Channel have defined popular culture. Uh, something like Naked and Afraid is just terrific, uh, and it's freed us all. Congratulations, David. David is a force of nature. You can't stop him. David's accomplished so much in the time he's been at Discovery and has really transformed the company. He wants things done quickly, and he wants things done well, and he wants them done professionally and in a classy way. And I think that's a challenge always to all of us, I think, to raise our game. If David has a, a, a sort of a superpower, I, I would say it's, it's clarity of thought. Because he has vision, he backs it up, not with hype, but with really concrete thinking and great ideas. You have the ability to see a bigger, grander possibility in all things, and, and always looking forward, no rear view mirroring our mistakes. I used to think of him as a small bore nuclear reactor. I now think of him as a large nuclear reactor. He's very smart, extremely competitive, hard driving, wants to succeed. His 12 hours that he puts in at the office is, you know, could, it probably yields 16 hours worth of uh, good decision. David truly has been one. To have the courage of his conviction, um, to act with an aggressiveness and a determination to cut against the grain. He looks at these networks and says, do I find that entertaining? Do I find that informing? Do I find that inspirational? His perspective from a viewer is a genuine person who would sit on a couch and watch networks when you have other alternatives and competitors. I think that helps us enormously. He's not afraid to, to fail or to make a mistake or correct it. Own, big risk, great idea, huge success. Don't mess with Oprah, basically. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. exactly what it is. It's a top 20 channel. We've turned it around. And I could not imagine a better partner. You've been there with your encouraging words. You have been a guiding force in making own the success that it is today. Congratulations. You've done well, my friend. Way to go, Zaslav. Hi, David. Uh, many congratulations on your winning the Mirror Award. Wow! Discovery is really about quality content. It's about inspiring people. It's about trying to educate, to entertain, and to satisfy curiosity with great characters and great stories. David has done a terrific job from a corporate perspective in finding the financial resources and anything else we need to build. David is not at all shy about surrounding himself with the best talent and getting out of the way and letting them do their job and, and, and also having a real open culture and open environment where there's vigorous debate led by David in terms of what's the right path to take. It's okay to disagree and it's and it's okay to take risk and it's and it's okay to make a mistake. We were four and a half percent of the viewership on cable in 2007. Today we're over 12 percent of the viewership. From the cake boss to the discovery boss. Congrats David. Hey Zoss, good job on your new award. Congratulations. From Bill and Keith. At least again. He's a great offensive player. That's the only way to describe it. You know, give the ball to David and, and let him run the field. And he's not afraid to back his ideas and his thoughts up with dollars for content. We should congratulate him. This is big. Well, congratulations, David. Congratulations, Say yes. David. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for believing in me and the fact that I would be able to make it safely across the Grand Canyon. We did it. 21 million viewers live on the Discovery Channel. In the last five years, we've launched more channels in the U.S than all other media companies combined. And it's because we really believe it's owned with Oprah, ID, Destination America, American Heroes Channel, The Hub, New Network for Kids, and we've invested in science and Animal Planet. It would have been easy enough, I suppose, for David to have just arrived at Discovery and said we're gonna stay with the current model. He wanted to take this thing around the world, and that's where our business is going. It took David to hit the button and say, 
This is what we're going to do and how we're going to get it done. In almost every country, we have between 8 and 10 channels. And that's a great opportunity for us. The fact that our content works so well around the world gives us a real opportunity to be a leader, to tell our stories and put our brands on new platforms. He is not uh, in any way taking his success for granted. Uh, that's pretty unusual in this business. I knew that I wanted to be with a partner that was strong and solid and Discovery is just that because you are at the helm. You are amazing, my friend. Thank you for standing in the gap for me. One aspect that he uh, spends a substantial percentage of his time to this day, I think is the proverbial paying it forward, giving it back. And I, I think that's an aspect of David's heart. Family, friends, and simply once in a while, you know, having a good time are all a part of what makes David special. One of the real gifts of being here today is Fred was a great friend to me. He was a, a mentor and to win this award really means so much because of how much Fred Dressler meant to me and to my career. The best part of my job is being in the media business because it's changing all the time. It's filled with great leaders, interesting people, and you can't be on your heels. Every day there's a new challenge. We're making headway, we're having an impact, we're building an audience, but I think the best is yet to come for Discovery. I'm just very lucky that I got into this business because it's been a fantastic journey.